Oxygenate the patient well before starting. Intubation is accomplished in a smooth, coordinated sequence of alternating hand motions. To intubate, extend the head but avoid hyperextension, which can obstruct the pediatric airway. Lift the blade with your left hand with the blade facing away from you. Insert the blade as far to the right side of the mouth as you can and then sweep the tongue to the left. Control of the tongue is essential or you won't have room to pass the tube. Slowly lift the mandible upward as you advance. Be careful to avoid pinching the lower lip between the teeth and the blade as you lift. Also avoid using the upper gum line or teeth as a lever or you will break teeth. Continue to lift the mandible upward until you see the narrow epiglottis above, the bulges of the arytenoids at the bottom, and the vocal cords stretching between. Be gentle. Traumatic intubations can cause swelling, which can be especially dangerous in the child's small larynx. Use suction as needed. If you can't identify anatomy, then the blade may be in the esophagus. Often the larynx falls back into direct view as you slowly pull the blade back into position. Pick up the tube with your right hand. You can also ask your assistant to hand it to you in the correct orientation for insertion. Hold the preselected tube in your right hand like a pencil, curve forward. Keep your eyes on the trachea and maintain control of the blade. Insert it to the right side of the mouth and watch it pass through the vocal cords. Stop when you see the lowest marker ring past the cords. While there may be a blind spot at the moment of entering the larynx, you can often see the arytenoids behind the tube. Carefully remove your laryngoscope blade. Change to a smaller size if the tube won't pass easily. Forcing a tube can cause traumatic swelling. Children can't hold their breaths as long as an adult before the onset of hypoxia. If you have trouble intubating, stop and ventilate before trying again. Here we're looking at another straight blade intubation in a five-year-old. See how the helper is pulling the cheek back to provide more room for the tube to pass. 